In today's market, Charles, um, what's your advice to investors that currently have multifamily, um, you know, developments, apartments, et cetera. And what type of properties should they, that they own? Should they look at liquidating? What would be the criteria for that? And what would be the criteria for which ones should they hold on to? Uh, you know, that's first off, what we're seeing is that people who are getting into deals now have to get into the deals for a longer term. If you're looking to get into a deal for a three to five year term in today's market, that's scary. So if you're looking to raise private money and bring in other investors, you want to sell and pitch your deal to be a seven to 10 year hold. But first off, because these these investors, they're savvy. They don't want their money back in three years in an, an inflationary period where they now have to take that money and go out and buy something else to reinvest it into something else at these inflated prices. They want to stay in a hard asset that that goes all the way through the inflationary cycle. So you're looking at, at pitching to your deals that are more seven to 10 year terms. If you own a property right now and you're looking to get out of it, I, I tell you, you might want to wait, especially obviously interest rates are, are creeping up there. Um, and then the problem is something, Jay, this is something that's very unique to multifamily that you don't your single family people don't quite understand is that a lot of these loans have incredibly huge prepayment penalties that you know requires a whole formula that takes into consideration the stock market. So there are big prepayment penalties if you try to get out of a multifamily uh, loan early, which means that you might be better off staying with that low interest rate loan that you picked up two years ago and riding this wave or finding a seller, a buyer who will assume the existing mortgage and let you get out of it that way. It's really interesting now because we're seeing the inflation rates go up. Those those um, mortgages that were purchased two years ago uh, for, for those deals, that's another asset to your deal. You just, you know, you got a, a 3% interest rate, the market's at five. Well, you can go find a, a buyer who's going to assume your existing mortgage at 3% and that guy thinks he hit a home run. So that's going to really help a lot of these, uh, a lot of these um, multifamily investors who are owning now and looking to get out in the near future. So there's a lot of moving parts to the, to answer your question, but uh, you know, though th there are so many things you got to take into consideration before you, you flip uh, and sell. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a weird time right now with what's going on with the interest rates. If you are interested in learning more about multifamily investing, then uh, my good friend Charles actually has what's called the Multifamily Investing Academy, which is located at www.multifamilyinvestingacademy.com.